today I'm coming to you from one of my cleaning jobs, which is why it's a bit echoey and looks very different. I've just been listening to a podcast as I've been cleaning, and it was about embracing uncertainty and how we've become very, or we had become very secure in our lives and expecting things to stay the same and you know, putting all your eggs into one basket, having one job and one this and one that. And it reminded me that, you know, since 2020, nothing has been sure, nothing has been secure. Everything is uncertain. You can't rely on anybody or anything to help or to get you by. And... I've kind of always lived with uncertainty. I've never presumed anything. And I don't mean that in a glass half empty kind of way. I just mean it in a, it enables you to cope when things do change. And the other thing is for me anyway, leading a frugal life, a life of needs, not wants, has been a bit of a superpower since 2020. So, yes, things changed. I mean, I went into lockdown like everybody else. I was careful about what I did. There wasn't always everything in in the the supermarkets, but I didn't worry about it. I didn't miss anything. I didn't miss takeaways. I didn't miss going down the pub. So, apart from the nuisance of not being able to go out and do stuff and supermarkets being a bit restricted, nothing really changed for me. I was already working from home. I was already leading what some might consider a very financially restricted life. I had everything I needed, but I didn't, you know, I didn't crave holidays or, you know, weekends away or pub nights or anything like that. So life wasn't that different for me. So, and being self-employed already and being able to look at that situation and work with it rather than against it, you know, people being kind of locked up at home with no jobs and nowhere to go meant that I actually did quite well during 2020. I stayed afloat. My business is also very flexible and it also enabled me to think outside the box a bit more. So instead of just thinking about the business, I started doing the side hustles and realized that I could make little pots of money everywhere and they all come together into one, one big pot, which is an overall income. And then if one starts to dip a bit, or I lose one, or something else happens, um, it's not a big deal, because it wasn't all of the money. So the frugal lifestyle suited very well to 2020 and what's come since, which of course is a cost of living crisis. And that isn't going away, I would say, anytime soon. And now we've got all the additional uncertainties with, we've got the blooming election coming up and there's still wars going on and this, that and the other. Nothing is going back to normal. And I don't think it ever will. I think that people's mentalities have been changed. I think that business attitudes have changed. We've seen a lot of changes in the economy about the way things work and prices that are high now probably won't go down again. If the economy changed, I can't see landlords putting the rent down. I can't see supermarkets dropping the prices significantly unless they're fighting each other for business. And this is now something we have to live with. My frugal way of life, my needs not wants lifestyle suits this very well. I'm just ticking along, no problems. If anything, my income has improved slightly. And always being ready to embrace uncertainty is really important. So throughout the course of my life, I've had lots of changes. I've moved a lot. I've moved homes. I've moved towns. I've moved cities. I've moved jobs a lot. I've had massive changes in income. I've moved my work studio multiple times. And I'm just used to it. So me being where I am... um, in the city that I am in now is 
possibly the longest time I've ever been in one place. And where I physically live now is almost the longest I've ever been in one place. But I never assume that it's going to last forever. I am in rent rented accommodation. I never know when things are going to change with that. My family situation may change. You know, my parents are getting older. Things will change. And you always keep those things in the back of the mind. It doesn't mean that you are always thinking the worst is going to happen, because it isn't, and it doesn't. Of course, certain things are inevitable. You can't change that. But if you can keep a bit of an open mind and just be flexible to the knowledge that, yes, things do change, um, that is a great power that you can have and the best way to be able to embrace uncertainty is to plan for it so if you are getting your income from one job do you have enough of an emergency fund if that job should go are you protected in case your income changes what if your job decided to relocate you could you do that all these things so have all these plans in place and at least have the bare bones of a decent emergency plan should things change. On the other hand, if you can expand your income horizons so that you are not reliant on one income, I would do that. Because no matter how certain you think things are, things can change in an instant. And I would not like to be the person who has a single job Yes, they might be earning well from it, but I would not want to be in the situation of always thinking, is this company still going to be here in a year? Is it going to be here in six months? With the economic uncertainty, is something going to happen? That would, be, that would make me very nervous. And I have been in those situations where, you know, you suddenly found out the business is going bankrupt, or your department's closing down, or they're suddenly streamlining the business. This has happened to me several times. And it's a reminder that businesses work for themselves. They don't work for you. They're not there to protect you. You have to protect yourself. So if you're in any of those situations and you just need to protect yourself, there are all sorts of small ways you can do that that just take the edge off the anxiety of it, the emergency fund, the... Um, just keeping in the back of your mind that things might change. What will you do if things do change? Do you have a plan? And even if your income is really great, maybe you don't have that emergency fund, can you streamline your life a little bit? Cut down on a few things and put that money in and bulk up an emergency fund. I have a six-month emergency fund for basic bills and utilities, but maybe six months isn't enough. Maybe in your type of job you would need a lot more than that. It depends on your circumstances, but be realistic about it. And those are my thoughts for today as I clean. <laughs> I'll put a link below to the podcast that I was listening to about embracing uncertainty. It's an interesting lesson um, and enjoy. So, speak to you soon. Bye bye.